When was the last time we laughed like that? You shouldn't be so sentimental, Roger. We're here. Aren't we? I guess. Physically. Really? Is that it? Maybe that's all there is. Ain't about no hiding. It's about surviving. Surviving the people that you can't see. But you know they there. They live deep, deep down inside your brain. I could hear them all the time. I love you. I hope you know that. I do. Keep in touch? Okay. I will. <laughs> I set an appointment for you with, uh, Dr. Jensen. The village shrink. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Why are you doing this, Roger? <laughs> We've had this conversation a thousand times before. So what? You think that sending me to Dr. Mind Mode will help me find my way back from acute alcohol addiction? <laughs> Is that it? Something like that. Thugs us. Upload early, ain't we? You know, some of us the real triggers are being asleep. How oh, much business, old man? This ain't for you. Put it away, I'll break your arm. You too juiced to do shit, old man. man. Right. My bad. I don't know what's wrong, man. Keep making these empty threats. Watch. When I was in Nam. Me and Diane all around me. One day on patrol, I saw a wounded bird. Probably been hit by shrapnel. I picked him up, took him back to the base camp. One of the medics was actually able to save him. Next day, he flew away. Doesn't that bed feel great, Jimmy? Ain't got no sky to look at. You're still crazy, that's all I gotta say. Life ain't been too good to us these days, Lavandia. With me being in the hospital and all. I learned a long time ago not to expect too much from living or dying. The best that anyone can ever hope for is to find a quiet place and close their eyes, if only for a few seconds, and feel the wind holding them still. A little night music. Isn't that from a play? A musical. Stephen Sondheim, Music and Lyrics. Hugh Wheeler, The Book. Inspired by an Ingmar Bergman film, Smiles of a Summer Night. Wow. You never cease to amaze me. How so? You are a total aficionado. I've always loved music. I thought I would be a composer one day. 
When did you say they're going to demolish the house? Monday or Tuesday of next week. What are we going to do? Well, well, Granny Bay is definitely out of the question. Well, good. I have a little money saved. We can use that to rent a place for a while. I'm not so sure that's a good idea, Amber. Okay. Why? I've, I've spent the last couple of years trying to find a small piece of life that I can still hold on to. Maybe I can help. You're so young, I'm afraid I don't want to slow you down. I nearly died in your arms, Ed. Don't you think that means I owe you more than just a, a thank you and a walk out the door? You do have a point there. Good. It's settled then. We'll go to the bank in the morning and we'll look for a place to live. Feet. Sure is a funny thing. You know, the sunlight comes through that window at about 2.30 in the afternoon. And then right after that, these two birds show up on the windowsill. But only for a few minutes. Hmm. You think they might also have their own set of dreams? Maybe they do. Something has to keep them from flying into that sunlight you mentioned. I saw God the other night, right over there. There ain't nothing but night out there, girl. Don't matter. Still saw him. You're more drunk than me. <laughs> I saw his crown and everything. God don't got no crown. Sure as shit he does. You say so. I do. Do you know where the building is? Well, I've been told it's not far from here. On, on top of a hill? Yes, where everyone can see it. Can you take me there? Uh, uh, I'll try. If, if you can just help me out. I'm Catherine. Uh, Al. Just plain old Al. Ain't short for nothing else. Never was. Uh, I'm curious. Why is it so important for you to find the building? Well, I'm told that's where we will be able to find God. It matters. It matters not to be alone when it happens. I don't want to talk about it. But you have to talk about it. I don't have to do shit. Well, I guess you don't. But I don't want to be alone. I've never wanted to be alone. Girl, you need to get it together before you drive me fucking crazy. <laughs> shit. I didn't ask for an asteroid to come out of its orbit and hit the Earth. Shit happens. Shit like this does not happen. This is a seriously bad dream. I'd call it a nightmare, actually. What do you think that we were spared? You mean after the explosion and fire? Yeah. I don't have a good answer for that, Candy. Maybe God wanted us to say a proper goodbye. What do you mean? You know what I mean, Joe. I wish you hadn't brought that up. I'm sorry. Don't be, don't be. It's okay. Have you been here long? What time does happy hour start? Oh, no. Not long. In fact, you're the first person I've seen since I started walking. Then you have seen the fire. 
but the Lord, the Lord's day will come in like a thief in which the heavens will pass away with a roar. Second Peter, third chapter, 10th verse. You know your Bible. I should. I helped write it. You, you do know, Donnie, that I married you for your money. Well, I didn't think it was for my 12 leather-bound volumes of Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> You need to rest, Jim. I'll be all right. We just need to keep going. Together. Always. The building can't be too far away. <laughs> no GPS. So much for technology. The world seems like such a small place now. What's left of it? The government warned us. <laughs> of course they did. You're still just as cynical as when I first met you. Is that a compliment? Of sorts. Maybe that's what you love about me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>